new art. Let's take a look at how I did my new portrait of Randy Orton. Uh, Orton's uh, one that I've kind of been a fan of from day one. We're right around the same age, like within a few months of each other, and he's from St. Louis, I'm from Kansas City. Uh, so when he started really taking off, like, it, you know, told me that, hey, if you keep working hard, like, someday, you'll be able to, to be a star like that, too. Uh, I doubt I'll ever be as uh, huge of a star as he is, but uh, it gives me a lot of motivation to keep working. Uh, so I did my wet on wet where I put the water down and dropped the red liquid acrylic into it. Once that dried, I'm coming over it with uh, some black watercolor uh, just to uh, give it a little more earthy of a feel. And also my intention is to put a red background behind it so this helps differentiate the figure from the background. Uh, also, uh, you know, playing into Orton being a St. Louis guy, uh, I thought I'd have him kind of emerging from the St. Louis skyline with the arch, you know, framing him. Uh, you know, something a little bit different from other portraits that I've done. Um, you know, like normally it's just uh, the, the portrait itself, but, you know, incorporating the, the city into this as well. Uh, also continuing to do that with wet on wet where I wet down the area then drop the ink in and uh, just continue that out with a water brush so the ink kind of just moves along with it. Uh, now uh, bringing blacks into the body to, to help you know define the form and like I've said many times it's when I apply the blacks that my particular style really comes alive and, and uh, you know, kind of sets me apart. I'm a high contrast guy. I enjoy working that way. Uh, so a few uh, more touches with the ink there and uh, now bringing in the reflections in the water there. Pretty fun. And with that part dry, now I'm using, uh, call it dirty water, uh, an empty ink bottle. I just poured some water into so it pulls up that ink residue and uh, kind of gives you uh, easy to use uh, gray tones. Uh, I started having doubts about putting that red background in at this point, so uh, once I had those parts done, I took a picture of it and then did a quick Photoshop mock-up to see if it would work. I felt pretty confident about it, so now doing some more of the wet-on-wet -wet background. Uh, I wanted a really level space, so I put it on the floor so that uh, um, you know, don't have to worry about it spilling over on me anywhere. And putting the finishing touches in, a little bit of sponge to create some te uh, texture, and there's a finished piece. Not bad. Buy stuff. This past Sunday I had the distinct pleasure to go backstage at WWE's live event here in Kansas City. Uh, one, just to show off all the work to the subjects of the paintings, and two, this is so cool guys, uh, to get the superstars all to sign the pieces, and these are soon going to be going up at auction.wwe.com. Uh, for instance, the one that was the most popular with everyone is the one I showed you how to paint today. Uh, my giant portrait of the Viper Randy Orton. Look at this thing is gigantic, right? Uh, and also here on the mat, making it frame ready, signed by the Viper himself. And Randy just really loved the piece. Uh, it almost went home with him, but luckily we saved it for you guys. So keep an eye on WWE's auction site. And while you're there, jump on over to shop.wwe.com and get one of those JR's barbecue packages that come with a print of my painting, uh, signed twice by Jim himself. Thanks. 
And now, questions Rob frequently gets, poorly answered by Lucha Libre star El Chuparabra. Do you paint anything other than wrestlers? Wait, he could paint something other than wrestlers? Rob, you could totally be doing, like, fairies or something. Why aren't you doing that? Football, a real sport.